It's an LA versus New York affair. The Chargers heading east, looking to climb back to 500, taking on the Jets, who are a game over 500 now. Plenty of optimism buzzing around Gang Green. Jets defense just got done putting on a modern day showing like none you'll ever see. So Justin Herbert, question, what do you have for a D that just held an offense to minus nine yards passing when you account for yards lost to sacks? Taylor, and Bryce Huff has it! What a season for Bryce Huff! Minus nine yards on 14 pass attempts. Herbert's answer, I'm much taller than Danny DeVito, so that ain't happening again this week. And you do realize you were a missed field goal away from losing a game where you held a team to minus nine yards passing. The nose kick is no good! No good with 24 seconds left! Adding to the craziness, did Aaron Rodgers slip Zach Wilson a little of his favorite natural herbal supplement to make Zach think he was Aaron? Wilson leading the Jets down the field in the waning moments like he was a seasoned vet to send it to overtime. Lawrence is in the backfield. Wilson escapes, throws on the run. He's got a man! First down! Wilson throwing for 240 yards, no picks, a touchdown. That's a win in Jets country. They take that from him every week. Wilson on first down over the middle. And that one is caught by Bruce Hall. Blockers in front, still going. Bruce Hall will take it. It's a 50-yard touchdown. Jets' passing attack consists of the occasional dump to running back Brees Hall. He didn't do squat as a runner, but as a receiver had a 50-yarder. He is a big splash play waiting to happen every time he touches the ball. Wilson, quick pass to Brees Hall. He's got some space in front, a couple of hesitation moves, and he's still going. Garrett Wilson, the centerpiece to their passing attack, though, showed why last week with 100 yards on the nose. Here comes the blitz. Wilson throws. Caught by Garrett Wilson. Flag is down. On one hand, maybe they keep it going. LA has some of the worst numbers against quarterbacks in the game. 27th in rating allowed, most yards per game allowed, rough across the board no matter what passing metric you pick. Prescott left side of the end zone, Brandon Cooks caught it, touchdown! Their mindset is this, our numbers are better after we shut down Tyson Bajan last week. No touchdowns, two picks, and no disrespect, but what's the real difference between Bajan and Wilson? Bajan in the middle, and it is intercepted, Derwin James the contact comes away with the pick. The Jets have scored 23 plus just once. They compete and win because of that defense. Eighth fewest points per game allowed, top five in the red zone. And they finally got their stud cornerback duo back. So Chargers receivers have to deal with DJ Reed and Sauce Gardner. Herbert will test them. 298 yards last week, three touchdowns, a rating over 120. Clean, efficient game. The cornerback, Jalen Johnson, going back to safety, coming over. It is hard to defend. Keenan Allen is LA's top wide receiver. He's more often than not the slot guy, so Sauce and Reed won't face him much. Still, it won't be easy for him. Jets nickel cornerback is one of the best in the biz. Michael Carter holding his targets to an 84.4 rate. Hertz will swing it to Swift. Swift on the edge, chased out of bounds by Michael Carter. LA finally saw rookie wide receiver Quentin Johnston show up 50 yards last week, most he's had all year. Scans Johnston underneath. Got away from the back. He's really, really good. The big X factor, running back Austin Eckler. Like Hall, not much as a runner last week, but 94 receiving yards and a TD. Eckler got a block on a ton of room. Austin Eckler on the run of the 24-yard line. The Jets have struggled with running backs as receivers for the season, clearly not last week, but overall 98.1 rating allowed to backs. There's Pollard, turns it upfield. Had another game. Herbert will have to perform under pressure. Jets pressure rate second highest in the league, coupled with a super low blitz rate. DeVito pressure's coming, and he is sacked. Jermaine Johnson. Herbert goes from a plus 100 rate guy to a 79.2 rate guy under pressure. Herbert, nothing open downfield. Buys time. Keenan Allen trying to come back to it. Incomplete. Herbert has faced a below average pressure rate for the year though. Makes the trenches fun to watch then. And the comments section is fun to watch after you guys fill it out with your additional preview material. It's a collective effort, people. Panel of 10 is a collective effort too. 